Welcome back, it's back, back, back to the basics. I'm Sean Barr and today we are talking about routing loops. Let's go! All right, we're back and we are talking routing loops. So what is a routing loop? Well, it's much like it sounds, it's a loop. And so it, it, essentially it's where traffic is being received from one connection or one device, a router typically, or a layer three switch. It sees traffic coming from an interface and it says, oh, I'm gonna send this traffic to this host. And that host then receives the traffic and says, I'm gonna send this traffic to you. I'm receiving traffic from you and I'm sending it right back to you. And you're receiving traffic from me and you're sending it right back to me. So essentially the traffic goes in a loop. There's something called TTL that's typically on a, on a packet, which is a time to live. And it says, how many hops can this packet live? And it's to help with stuff like this. So when the network has a problem, that it's going to decrement the TTL. And when the TTL gets to zero, essentially no hops left, the packet is gonna be dropped. So if you do have these routing loops, it's to try to help it from overrunning the network. So if you've got two hosts in, in the network uh, trying to communicate, or you've got a, a big file transfer and a lot of people are trying to get to this network, there's a routing loop. Because of the routing loop, every packet just keeps getting replicated. Um, so that starts to put load and strain on the network. And so at some point, you could potentially have a network outage because of these routing loops. They cause so much pro wreak havoc in the network. So you wanna prevent them. So how does it happen? Well, typically it's because of a routing convergence issue. So you have two routing protocols or a routing protocol that's trying to converge. And what does converge mean? Well, it means that everybody knows where everything is at. It's converged. If you had a device like an interface fail and then it comes back up, maybe this router learned it from a different path, some of that, those types of things. Um, so, so it's typically, it could be an outage related thing. It could be a redistribution thing. So that's where I'm taking OSPF and inserting it into EIGRP or vice versa. And I'm not tagging or filtering properly and it's creating a routing loop. So there's a number of ways that they can be created, but essentially what it means is there's some type of routing or configuration issue inherent in the network that you're not accounting for in your routing protocol. So you need to troubleshoot that. So if you've got a routing loop, how do you troubleshoot it? As I mentioned just before, you could start doing essentially a show IP route from every router in your network and you're starting to track it down hop by hop. And this can be a really difficult problem to isolate and to, to figure out. And so you need to see where these routers are learning their routes from. And you just keep tracking that particular route back to its, its originator. And then once it gets to the originator, you need to start tracking back, how did it learn it? How is it being interjected or how is it being introduced into the routing protocol? And from there you can isolate how it's coming in and hopefully correct the problem. So a routing loop is where two devices of router A and router B both think they're authoritative or have the next hop for that particular network. So they just continue to send it back and forth to each other until the packet is dropped. So we talked a little bit about how they can occur. How can you prevent them? Well, just good routing best practices, making sure that you're configuring your router and your routing protocols in the appropriate way to prevent them. So that could be things like having, having tags if you're redistributing and filters if you are redistributing, making sure that you're tagging those and then you're filtering them as they come into an, an, the other side. Just making sure that your routing protocol is configured properly and tuned correctly will save you a lot of time tracking down a routing loop. If I said anything in this video that you're like, hey, I'd love to know more about that, leave a comment, like, subscribe, and we will see you on the next Back to the Basics. Thanks for watching.